Hey guys, and welcome back to another Waco Taco Gaming video. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Apex Legends Winter Tide Collection event, along with the Winter Express LTM. And can you believe how fast time has flown? It's been a whole year since the last time we were able to play Winter Express. Honestly, it feels like just yesterday. But yes, it's the time of the year again. So Winter Express, it's the exact same mode as last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. It's still really fun. I have a couple complaints about it, but honestly, it's still one of my favorite, if not my favorite LTM. It's really fun to play. This time we also got, and since, it, since it's a collection event, you will, be, you will be able to collect all 24 items for the Wraith Prestige skin. It's cool, but for me, not $160 cool. Especially because I don't even use Wraith. Even if it was for like Caustic, who's like my main, I still wouldn't buy it just because it's a Mythic skin. I still think that's BS. They should never do Mythic skins. That that should never happen. And then, obvious, obviously, we got 24 items to collect. And by collect, I mean spend money on. A pack costs $7. You can also get some discounted prices here for, like, let's see, three packs and a skin. This skin will normally cost either $7 for a pack or $18 if you're just looking at Apex coins. So, you do save money with a couple of these. But it's still a lot of money, and I wouldn't recommend buying the Prestige skin. But anyway, so they got this banner. Just trying to go through it real quick. This Hollow Spray for Bangalore. This uh, banner frame for Crypto. This for Crypto, Hollow Spray. This banner frame for Newcastle. This Hollow Spray for Newcastle. And then the banner frame for Valkyrie. And Hollow Spray for Valkyrie. A couple pretty good epic skins. One for Maggie, Horizon, Mirage, and Wraith. Like I said, just trying to go quick. This one's pretty cool. Uh, pr this one's pretty good. And so is this one. I might craft them because I got a lot of crafting. So who knows? I might craft a couple of these. And then you got this one for Bangler. This pretty dope car. This uh, Elf Crypto. Not really the biggest fan of this one. This one's pretty good. I really like this Havoc. This is kind of a good uh, Newcastle one. It's a little bland. Like, look on the back of the shield. It is a little bland. But this is pretty dope. The His head and his helmet. Pretty good Peacekeeper. I kind of like this Valkyrie one. I really like the wings of it. It's one of my favorite ones. I know it's just a recolor. But still. Uh, this one. There's Triple Take skin. Legendary skin. Bloodhound Legendary Skin, Prowler Legendary Skin, Gibraltar Legendary Skin. This one's a pretty good one. As well as a Legendary Skin for the R99. Now, here's my problem with the event. Besides the fact that it's a Prestige Skin, which is the biggest problem. Most of these Legendary Skins are recolors. For example, Velks is a recolor. Gibraltar's is a recolor. Bloodhound's is a recolor. As well as a couple of the weapons. This is a recolor. This is a recolor. This is a recolor. It feels like they only made these three that are brand new and fresh. Because I don't believe this is a recolor. And I know for sure this one isn't. And I don't think the epics are recolors. But there's just too many recolors. For you to spend $18, they should have given you a break. Should have been able to get it for legend tokens if you have the original. Or make it half price. There's no reason for a recolor. And then there's also free skins. Free items. One price tracker every week. This this event lasts for three weeks. Pretty dope charm. Hollow spray. As well as a pretty good alternator. Now, I already finished it. It's only 3,000 points. Like I said, you have a week as well as a badge. Th this next Tuesday and the Tuesday after that, you will also get a new price tracker to complete. I believe the last reward for week two is an Apex pack. And the last reward for week three is a Gibraltar skin, an epic skin. They've also brought back a lot of the holiday skins. I'm sure you've seen these before, so I'm just going to quickly show them. Uh, this charm for $10 and 15 packs. And two new skins, which again are really cool, but they're just recolors. I own this skin already, the original. And it would be really nice of Respawn to be able to just let me craft it with crafting materials. Materials, or legend tokens even. Because like I said, even this is just a recolor. Just a recolor of Bro Sidon. Like I said, nice skins. Good looking skins. But no reason to charge this much. 
and then is featured nothing for christmas and a couple more christmas epic skins yeah that's about it but let's just play winter express already now this is a really fun mode in my opinion so for those of you who are not familiar with the mode it's basically three teams of three drop into like the original world's edge and fight it out on a train you have to capture the train or just kill everyone else like i said there's no respawning up until the next round like a new round so i really like to use caustic because he has gas and the train is very it's very uh what's the word there's a lot of people on the train at once because like i said you're trying to capture it only way to capture it is if someone's on there so you got to get everyone else off the train Oh, this Wraith has the Prestige skin. Like I said, it's a pretty good skin. I like the cape a lot. It's Galaxy. But that's still not worth it. And there's been no new changes. Like I said before, there was no new changes. Which is a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie. The, the one change they made was that, obviously, everyone at each squad has a name now. So, like, Cookie Squad, Sweater Squad, things like that. And... He, uh, shields just regenerate on their own now So before you had to use a shield cell with fast heals to heal now they just regenerate on their own You don't even have the option to heal with shield bells uh, sh Shield batteries or cells, but you still have to heal manually with syringes or med kits And like this is how the class system works. There's no looting in this mode You just choose your class go in there and just fight. I this is a pretty good one assault for me and you can change your Loadout. Once you die for a new round, you can change it, just like your legend. I just realized my voice thing is... Okay, okay. I should probably change, turn that off right now. Like I said, it's pretty, uh... It's just the things on the left I'm going to turn off so that when they're talking it isn't... Yeah, just an extra annoying thing. Whatever. Two of them, two of them. Alright, so when you die... You can change your legend. As well as your loadout. So it's a good mode to test legends and weapons and see which ones you like without the risk of battle royale. And obviously the RNG part of it. So I'm gonna go close quarters this time. I'm gonna switch my legend. I think I'm gonna go... I like Catalyst a lot just because of the spikes in the walls pretty good for this mode. But I'm also a pretty big fan of Watson. So I think I'll just go... I'll go Catalyst. And it's overtime, no one captured it in the minute, so you gotta capture the center car. No one has captured it? Okay, yes, let's go. It's my team. He's contesting it. He's pretty good, and we lost. So you see, even if he didn't capture the train, that's the only squad remaining. So they won the round. And the team that won the round, if any of your, if any of your teammates died, they will respawn on the train instead of the thing. Instead of the, what do you call it? Because when you die, you respawn on the... I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on the name here. You respawn on the drop, the drop ship. Yeah, you respawn on a ship. And you can choose where to land anywhere. But if you win the round, you can drop... You can just spawn on the train. You just spawn on the train. And so, this. No, not a jump pad. Supply ship, yeah. All right, let's go now. So hopefully that clears it up. It explains it to you. Like I said, this is the fourth year we've had Winter Express. So a lot of you might know it already. But for those of you that are brand new, that's how you play it. Really fun mode. I'm not going to lie though. I kind of wish the I wish the old loadout system came back. The one where there was a specific loadout for each legend. I think that was a better one. The better loadout system. 
That was kind of a useless thing, but whatever. So now we can go capture the train. There's gas in the front, though, so I'm going to go to the back. It seems like no one's on the train either. Okay, no fight for this. Let's go. Spike trap. Yeah, there was like no fight for this. And by the way, it's first to three points. You can check the points on the top right of the screen. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm switching back. Going heavy. I want to try a bunch of different classes, you know? Oh, we just spawned in the air. That's, that's good, I guess. But yeah, what do you guys think of this mode? Do you like it? Do you not? Do you wish it wasn't recycled for like the fourth time in a year? Because I know a lot of people are hating on Apex right now. Apex is going through a big hate phase. Truthfully, like every game, but a lot of hate to Apex. If you if you follow Apex, you'll know it's everyone's hating on the game. I mean, with some good reason. Like I said, it's a little ridiculous to think people are going to buy the skins. Well, no, that's exactly why they're going to do it. Because people do buy the skins, even though we shouldn't. I really suck today. I don't know why. I was doing pretty well. I was playing a little earlier, trying to hopefully warm up, but... I'm doing bad all of a sudden. I know I always do bad, but still. A little disappointing. Alright, this is still my team, man. He's pretty good, actually, so. We might win this round. Okay, one squad's dead. Over oh, no, nah, I screwed. They're gonna win it. Holly's probably gonna win it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna switch back to Caustic. Yeah, what do you think about the state of Apex right now? Do you agree with everyone else? Is it truly dying? I don't think it is, personally. The player count actually increased with this update for some weird reason. Like, the highest it's been this season. So that, I guess that's kind of crazy. But yeah, I don't see any reason to worry yet. I don't know. I play Apex all the time. I like Apex still. So I don't know. Ah, oh, I missed the train there. trying to use a peacekeeper to kill me like that. I'm caustic so it don't really matter. Never mind it do matter. I'm a big target. I'm bad at this game now. All of a sudden I just became bad. Well that kinda sucks. I really hope let me see, hold up. Oh, Cookie's not gonna win. It's already 2v3. I've only done 582 damage. I wish I could spectate them, but... Looks like I can't. Yeah, they're gonna win, unfortunately. Right, cause Mr. Steel Yoke. Yeah. Oh. Nah, they're screwed. It's a 1v2. Or 1v1, maybe? And if nobody captures or kills each other within, yeah, within the 30 seconds, it's just nobody gets a point. And it just goes to the next point. And everyone respawns. But yeah, pretty fun mode. 
for some reason I cannot get my groove on today. Especially this game. I don't know what happened. And we have our champion by a lot. But yeah, this was the Winter Tide collection event. This is all there's gonna be for the next three weeks. This collection event ends the 27th. So it's three weeks long. A week longer than usual, actually. And yeah, that's about it. I think that's a big reason people are hitting on Apex. People are saying not new not much new content. I don't know. Personally I disagree, but yeah. Like I said, price tracker. As well as next Tuesday, we will get a price tracker, so that's pretty good. Skins. Yeah. And then hopefully the next video I do will be I'm right now I'm kinda thinking on whenever Fortnite drops their Christmas themed event. That's what I'm probably going to do the next video on. Like I said, this is a pretty short video. But hopefully that's the next video I'm able to do. I don't know when that's going to launch. I assume sometime next week. The Winterfest event. Isn't it that what it's called? Winterfest event? Whatever. The one where you get presents. That's all I know. So I'm probably going to do a video on that. I got to play a couple matches of Chapter 4. The graphics were amazing. I'm not going to lie. I like the new engine a lot. But didn't play too much of that. So that'll be interesting to play. And yes, after that, I honestly don't know. I don't know what there's going to be for Christmas or New Year's. I haven't planned that all out. But the year's coming to an end, so I need some ideas, please. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.